progress. Nature to man. Man to machine. The path to our future. Oscorp. The Oscorp of today is evolving, and innovative technology needs a guiding hand. Under the direction of Dr. Alistair Smythe, the betterment and security of human life has become our one goal. His mastery of nanotechnology and macro robotics will guide Oscorp Industries to a better and brighter tomorrow. Nanobots, what are they? Imagine a robot. Now imagine 400 of them, standing on a dime. A microscopic army working on a molecular level. Their size is their strength, and their potential is limitless. The leadership of Dr. Alistair Smythe will usher in a new era of progress for Oscorp and mankind. Oscorp, a new company with the name you trust. Peter, what are you doing here? I'm here to get you out of this asylum. But you put me here, and with good reason. I can't... I know, it's crazy, but time's running out, Connors. Something bad has happened. Something really bad. Progress. Hey there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming with me, Pete. You're brave. We're gonna have to be careful here. I'm not supposed to be here after hours. I hope it's better than the first time I snuck in. That was not fun. We're not sneaking, we're investigating. Weird things happen here after hours. Stuff that Dr. Smythe's trying to get rid of. He's not a bad guy, you know? He wants to turn this company around. Yeah, that's what the video said. So, what exactly is rotten in the state of Oscorp? I think they're continuing Dr. Connor's work. Cross-species experiments. Come on. Whoa, whoa now, like, making more lizards? Making more everything. I I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out tonight. Oscorp has the geniuses and the resources. Why can't it be a benefit to people? That's why I came back. And Dr. Smythe wants to change things. <laughs> I know. His brilliant research will usher in a new era for all humanity. Huh. Okay, just wait a second. Nature to man. Man to machine. Well, we're definitely safe out here, because we'll never get in. We're in. Huh. Keep your head down. Wow, look at all this. I knew Dr. Smythe was the nanobot guy, but I had no idea he had big bots too. I can't believe you get to play with this stuff every day. <laughs> it never gets old. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god. This could be proof they're continuing Connor's work. You were the one that had to sedate him. How can he still move like that? I'm sorry. I gave him everything we had. Is everyone okay? Gwen? Are you alright? Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Smythe. Hey! Kids are in big trouble. What are you doing it's here? Okay. It's okay. It's okay. They're with me. What are you doing here, Gwen? You know you're not supposed to be here after hours. Especially with a guest. Uh, Dr. Smythe, I am so, so sorry. Uh, this is my friend, Peter Parker. Peter Parker? I've heard about you. I'm hearing a lot about you tonight. So, why are you oh, here? Oh, I'm totally to blame, Doc. I, uh... I'm amazed at what you've done with Oscorp. Uh, when I heard about the changes you were making, you know, uh, nanobots, I wanted to see them for myself. You've worked uh, with Connors, right? Funny finding you here now as I waste my time trying to dispose of these cross-species. So this is a cross-species? You promised me that all of Connors' work was over. But, uh, how many more do we keep here? I told you the truth, Gwen. The experiments have stopped, just not as early as I'd hoped. No more humans turning into animals like Connors did. But what you see here is what happens when an animal gets a nice dose of human DNA. Here, follow me. I trust you'll keep everything you see in the strictest confidence. Huh. <laughs> a 
another one of these cross species? This is crazy. The lizard almost destroyed the city. Well, what rational mind would continue to create these things? Changing the ethics of a large corporation takes time. Now, some scientists argue that these pathetic creatures have some benefit. But they lost that argument. As of tonight, these cross species disappear. We're shipping them to our bio lab for safe disposal. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, has this thing eaten today? It always looks like that. They went farther with Connor's work than we realized. The species in this room are incredibly dangerous and highly contagious. Hence the containment units. Hey, where'd he go? Come on out, little fella. That little fella is a walking disease. Any direct contact with it leads to infection. Infection leads to death. Or becoming a cross-species yourself. I want to keep you human, Parker. Let's keep moving. Is there a cure? Well, for these things, no. They were never human to begin with. They were born in a petri dish. For the poor humans it infects, unfortunately not. Attempts to develop an antidote have been unsuccessful. I don't want to seem cruel, but you have to understand, that thing is pure vermin. Creatures like this brought Europe to its knees with the plague. It only reacts like that when it's around other... I mean... <clears throat> other handsome guys like me? I'm used to it. Unlike robots, biological creatures are... unpredictable. I much prefer things I can control. Unpredictable, huh? What is that? An iguana? This has to be the strangest office tour I've ever been on. Don't worry, Parker. Our next stop is the nanobot lab. Once you see it... Excuse me, Dr. Smythe. I need someone with special clearance to help me take this down to B-Sector. Oh, I don't have time for this. Uh, Gwen, maybe it's a good thing you're here. You can deal with some of this bureaucratic nonsense. A punishment for uh, trespassing. Go with him and catch up with us when you're done. Uh, Doctor, I think I'll escort her. You know, make sure she doesn't get eaten. <laughs> I understand. The Beast is as enthralled by beauty as man is. Meet me in the lab when you're done. And don't wander... It's an order, Miss Stacy? Sure, Dr. Smythe. Come on, Pete. I'm uh, great meeting you, Doctor. Likewise, Parker. It, is that. You gotta be kidding me. That's taking things a little far, isn't it? It's a terrible legacy. But Dr. Smythe says we're putting it in the past. I believe him. What the what? What did you do to it? I. I didn't do anything. Peter, I think it senses your blood. It knows. It's clearly reacting to something. Against cross species. 
Which I guess you technically are. So, yeah. Watch out, Pete. Oh my god, did you see that? Oh, Don't worry. Here, no. with we'll get you out of here. It's not working. Maybe you can web swing across. What if these things get out of Oscar? I don't want to think about what ifs right now. More robots! Watch out! Every robot has to attack me? How about this? All species attack. Take that! Okay, Gwen. I'm a light packer. Time to get out of here. Find another way. Great! Oscorp security system. Quarantine's on the other side. Stay here, Gwen. I'll come back to get you. I need to get the others before this really gets out of hand. Pete, I think we both know that this is already out of hand. Dr. Smythe will have some answers. Find him. I'll try, but Gwen, I have to ask. What's gonna happen? To you? I don't know, but it's not going to be good. I'm infected, Pete. We all are. You remember what happened to Connors. This only leads to one thing. But... But what about the antidote? If it worked before, then... Connors was exposed to an earlier strain. You couldn't even call it a virus back then. It's evolved, mutated. There's no antidote to cure this. What if I stop all the cross species? There's no question they should be stopped, but even if they are, there's, there's still a risk that the virus will spread. Gwen, stay calm. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you, okay? We'll figure it out. I'll find Dr. Smythe and the others. Hopefully, it's not too late. Wait, Peter. Take the Oz phone on the table. The what? It's the name of the Oscorp phone. 
It's still a prototype, but at least I'll be able to call you. Okay. I'll get back as soon as I can. Did Smythe make it? Yes. I got him and the other scientists to the quarantine. But they're all infected. And the cross species? Where are they? I tried to stop them, but they escaped. Well, you caught me, the lizard. Why should these creatures be any different? Uh, you have no idea. The creature has stopped its rampage in the center of the park. Now that we can have a good look, we can confirm this is not the same reptilian creature that recently terrorized Manhattan. Strangely, it's...
not putting an end to this. Any last words before I push you in the scrapyard? And here it comes. 